Alrighty, hi family. So I wanted to come on here and talk about giving yourself grace, giving yourself compassion, giving yourself love. Um, it is too easy for us to decide to give someone else love rather than ourselves. Self-love is always going to be the remedy to everything that you're feeling. Everything that you're feeling, it's always going to be love that will heal you, okay? Um, learning to love ourselves more, more and more and more and more and more. You cannot, there's no limit, there's no cap to the self-love that you can give yourself. And if you're feeling low in the dumps right now because whatever decision you made, you're reminiscing on what you should have done differently, the decision was made and the decision was made purposely in that way for you to heal and learn your lessons okay not to say that um what you're feeling isn't valid but i want you to know that it's okay to feel those feelings feel them feel those fe feelings but breathe don't allow those feelings to sweep, sweep you into a mindset that everything you do is wrong or that life will never get better for you because that is not true that is just your mind but we need control back over our mind. And I was watching this video where this guy was saying to give your mind to God. And it's true. Like, when you feel like these emotions are too much, get down and pray. Pray to God. Pray to the universe. Whatever you believe in. Because it's all the same thing, in, in my honest opinion. But um, getting in prayer and just praying, like, God, please help me get control over my mind. Protect my mind from negative thoughts. Protect my mind from um the devil honestly because the devil knows when we are weak the devil knows when we are at a place to feel lesser than or that we don't deserve certain blessings but i'm telling you what you need right now is self-compassion and grace self-compassion for yourself um and listening to subliminals about self-love self-worth is what you need right now there isn't anything else outside of you that you need you need you right now and i also am being called to say it's time for you to pull back your energy and be with yourself be in silence be in stillness um don't use tv to distract you because that's not self-care that is just like a band-aid over it um you're still being stimulated um pick up a book or just sit there just lay there for like an hour or two however long you can just be there just exist just breathe breathing can really just bring us back to the present moment and to realize how far you've come you've come so far to let this one thing keep you down it's time for you to get up get up okay not saying that you need to push your feelings to the side i'm not saying that what i'm saying is what can you be doing for you in this moment that will be the most helpful Sit with yourself in a medita meditative state and ask your higher self, what can I be doing for me right now in this moment that would be helpful? For me, what I got was rest. So I really just need to rest. Take this time this weekend to reset and rest. Okay. Um, some of you guys may be called to do the same thing. But also try listening to um, the sound bath, Vegas Nervous vegas nervous system reset on youtube um there's this lady that does it i forget her youtube channel name but she does these um just beautiful music sound baths and music can be such a healing thing for our body and reaffirm to yourself uh, put your hand over your heart and your tummy and say i feel safe breathe i feel safe in my body i feel safe in my body i am okay it is okay to feel your feelings like we are human we are put here to feel so don't shy away from your feelings you are put here to feel those feelings for a reason and you are not weak for feeling them you are strong for feeling them you are a warrior and the universe god wouldn't have chose anyone else because they know that you have that power okay um and don't forget that you're divinely protected anything that feels like you feel like you're going through this why do i keep ex um attracting the same type of people why does this hurt so much it is protection you are meant to learn the lesson so learn it learn it so that you cannot repeat it if you are repeating it that is your karma okay what did you take away from it what was the role that you played what did you need to learn 
if you are tired of experiencing that same type of pain, you need to attract new types of people into your life. If you're attracting people who are purely in a victim mindset, they're going to hurt you. Why? Because they they can't see anything good for themselves. They're going to sabotage everything because they don't feel like they deserve it. Right? So go where you are celebrated. Go where your frequency is calling you. When you decide to choose better, you awaken your soul family. Okay, you allow the universe to connect you with the people that you're meant to connect with. Okay, um, you are loved. Your feelings are valid. <sighs> allow yourself to feel them. Okay, um, so I wanted to pull some cards for you guys today, um, but also I felt the need to bring out my five love languages book, and Spirit is saying that. It's time for you to learn your own love language. What do you need to do to show up for you in the best ways that you can? If you know that words of affirmations is your love language, write yourself a love letter. Make it a regular practice. Tell yourself how much you love the things that you did for yourself this week. Okay, make it a weekly practice. Make it a daily practice. Self-love for yourself. If it's acts of service, show up for yourself in ways that you would show up for other people. We cannot wait for other people to tell us that we are worthy of love. You have to tell yourself that you're worthy of love. Do the things that you know you've always wanted, you would do for your partner. Because the way that we show our partner love is how we want to show love, right? Um, aside from their own love languages, that's just how we naturally want to show up. So saying affirmations for yourself that uplift you. And when you feel a negative thought coming into your mind, pause. And reaffirm that it's not true reaffirm it put it under God's light put it under the universal light and say say for example if you say I'm not good enough you stop you pause you breathe and you say I am good enough I am more than good enough I am capable to do the job that God wants me to do that's it okay um, I'm gonna open the page and the first things that come up are the the top page it says feelings of anger feeling very upset frustrated and anxious so i'm going to say that i'm going to read the first paragraph too after this but they say to open a book and it will really explain how you're feeling at this time or what you're currently dealing with any book you can do this with any book in your home um angry very upset frustrated and anxious you what you're feeling is valid you're processing what you need to process to be able to let it go these feelings of anger are, is to show us where we feel like we were wronged where we feel like we need that love um so i'm going to give you an example for me this week i felt angry because i was very i felt misunderstood and i felt like my feelings were not taken into account the only thing that i needed in that moment in terms of love was to reaffirm to myself that my feelings are valid and that um it's okay to feel the feelings that i'm feeling and just because someone else doesn't validate those feelings doesn't mean that they aren't true or that they're not worthy of validation because when we look for validation outside of ourselves that's how we get back to that anger and that frustration because we we outsource it you need to validate yourself and that takes time and that takes patience with yourself but don't get angry with yourself because oh you feel like you should have been moved on past this you don't get to decide how long you ne you need to grieve grieve something you don't get to decide that um you will know when it's time to stop grieving but i don't want you to get caught up in the grief you can grieve feel your feelings but make sure that you are still living you're still doing the things that you need to do on your list like if you know you want to be you want to write the best-selling book yes you're grieving but you still get up and you write 20 minutes a day 15 minutes a day whatever you can commit to you write that amount because that's you showing up for yourself regardless of how your emotional state is um, and if you know in that moment you just need maybe uh, a few days of rest you take those few days but you don't make it into a month of rest you don't make it into two months of rest that's you dragging it out in terms of not showing up for yourself as a way of punishment and you do not deserve to be punished you deserve to feel compassion and love the same compassion you would give your best friend you would give your mom you would give your auntie you'd give your cat that's the type of love you need to show up with for yourself always unconditionally um 
So it says, do that exercise three times and you will develop awareness of your emotional state. Let's see. Um, so it says, write down your feelings in the notepad and a word or two to help you remember the event corresponding to the feeling. Your list may look like this. So, for example, if you're being tailgated, your feelings would be anger. You're at the gas station and all the gas spilled all over you. Your feeling would be very upset. Um, work your pro work project is due and they give you less than enough time to do it you feel frustrated and you feel anxious so write down the event and then write down the feeling so that if you do that um exercise three times a day you will develop an awareness of your emotional nature using your notepad communicate your emotions and the events briefly with your spouse as many days as possible if if in a few weeks no, sorry. In a few weeks, you will become comfortable expressing your emotions with your partner or yourself. So in this case, I want you to be more comfortable expressing it with yourself. Um, this is you building that relationship with yourself and that emotional awareness. And eventually, you will feel comfortable discussing your emotions towards any situation. So I'm replacing the word because this is about like loving other people, but I'm talking about us loving on ourselves. So focusing your emotion towards... So eventually you'll feel comfortable discussing your emotions. So it'll make it easier for you to communicate your emotions to other people. Um, remember, emotions themselves are neither good nor bad. They are simply our psychological responses to events of life. So also remember that your emotions, just because you feel angry doesn't make you an angry person. When we identify as an angry person, then we keep those emotions longer than we need to keep them for. You're in a state of anger right now because so-and-so happened. Which makes me realize that in my childhood, this is why I am triggered. So picking apart it, like picking apart it of of the event, like a sandwich. Okay, just pick apart a, a, each layer. Each layer will allow you to understand your emotions better and show up in situations with a more. I don't want like I don't want to say um, a more like you'd be more in control of your emotions because you don't allow your emotions to control you. Okay, you will learn how to respond in situations instead of letting people get to you. Um, and I think that's where a lot of the anger and frustration is also coming up for this collective. Um, don't allow people to feel like they have power over you. Okay, you have power over yourself and your decisions. And in situations when you can breathe, allow yourself to feel the emotion, but not meet them where they're at. Meeting them where they're at lowers your vibration it lowers your frequency and it puts you in a state of frustration it puts you in a state of feeling yucky because you had to lower your frequency to meet them where they're at right um but when we start to recognize our emotions and feel those emotions and know what's coming up we have better control over our tongue we have better control over our emotions and how we react to others so simply breathing through the situation and not allowing the situation to take control of you okay so that was the messages from that book and that was the messages from spirit <laughs> um so i'm gonna reach into here and pull out my inner child deck and then my green which is oracle deck as well so we're gonna start with the inner child deck first and see what our inner child wants us to hear at this time okay all right spirit what messages does our inner child want us to say how should we proceed what do they want from us at this time what is the lesson <laughs> What is the lesson? What is the lesson? What is the lesson? Okay. All right. In your child, what is the messages for today? What is the messages for today? What are the messages for today? Ooh, almost dropped those. In your child, any messages for today? Okay, let's put the deck. Today is the day. It's time to begin the journey. So our inner child wants us to know that we're feeling our feelings, yes, and that's okay. But it's time 
what your inner child really wants you to do is to start showing up for yourself your journey for yourself begins today that journey of self-awareness that's journey of self-love it begins today it doesn't begin tomorrow it begins today when you decide to choose yourself set better boundaries know that people will will be removed people will leave because they don't have boundaries for themselves they don't have self-respect for themselves that's okay every person that leaves your life is not a loss it is protection and it is spirit is going to replace that person with someone new someone to match the frequency that you are now on so stop trying to bring everybody with you that's not meant to come your journey is now it's time to begin it now okay so let me read what the interpretation of for our inner child says okay this up. Reese's Puff, Reese's Puff. Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. Okay, let's see. Um, 36. Okay, today is the day. It can seem overwhelming when you look to, towards toward the finish line of a journey you have not yet begun and see how long it will take to reach the end. But the finish line is not always where your attention belongs. It belongs in the space right in front of you. The journey begins with one step and continues with the next step and the next until one day you will have arrived. If you have pulled this card, then it might be time to do what you have been putting off. So a lot of the times we use external drama and external things outside of us to distract us away from how overwhelming our journey may feel. Do not worry about how, how hard it's going to be to do the things that you know you should be doing for yourself or that you want to do for yourself because it's so big and you you just have no idea how the how feels so overwhelming spirit is saying that every journey starts with a small step that's why i said if you want to write 15 minutes a day 15 minutes a day is what you can commit to then start that but as long as you started it okay everything doesn't need to be this big thing like even when i think about when i started at the gym i started um three days a week and my um my gym my gym trainer wanted me to do cardio every other day like when i wasn't training i didn't do that i didn't want i didn't i could barely commit to three days but i did it because i paid my money and i was like you know what like i want to see a change so what i can commit to right now is three days a week after that i started doing cardio every other day because now i've built up that momentum i've built up that stamina that um discipline it takes time discipline takes time so starting small will allow you to let go of the fear that's keeping you stuck in the how how am i going to be able to achieve this the finish line doesn't matter don't even look there look at the present moment live in the present moment right now what can you do right now um this is a self-care exercise make a commitment to yourself to begin your journey Though it might seem scary, know that beyond the horizon awaits something more wonderful that you can know in these present moments. No one is ever truly ready at their first steps. It is not perfection that we seek, but, but a life lived fully. So if you allow perfectionism to keep you stuck, you will never get to live your life fully, right? Um, no, nothing is going to be perfect when you first begin anything um when i started at the gym i didn't know what the hell i was doing um it, it there was so many things that was going wrong I, I i wasn't sleeping when i with which is what you need to gain muscle when with recovery um i wasn't drinking enough water i wasn't eating properly so i was working out in the gym wasn't seeing much results right away but after a after learning these things i was able to apply them eventually but stop worrying about time wasted because time isn't the problem your biggest problem is that you think that everything needs to be perfect and you are allowed to make mistakes and learn along the way you just have to have that compassion for yourself to say you know if i made a mistake that's great because this is going to show me where i need to heal where I, what i need to do the next time what can i do to apply myself to make changes okay so mistakes are a way for us to bring in learning it is not something to be shameful for or to condemn ourselves for it is what what are we learning so here are some journaling prompts. How does it feel to start your new adventure today? Take some time to list all the wonderful things that will come to you on this new journey. There is much to look forward to. So I'm not going to read the next card over, but there's um, the next card after it says write a letter. So I'm going to say for those of you who love languages are words of affirmation, you need to write yourself a self-appreciation letter. 
is what spirit is saying self-appreciation letter um and stick it somewhere you can see it every day everything that you appreciate yourself for stick it somewhere you can see it every day um so that was the messages from our inner child consider the journal prompts so let me see what mother nature has for us today hello mother nature i love mother gaia let's see what are the messages what are the messages um all right mother nature any messages for my collective any messages for my collective any messages for my soul family Oof. any messages for my soul family any messages for my soul family any messages for my soul family Any messages for my soul family? All right, one more time. Any messages for my soul family? Okay. All right. Any messages, spirit? Any messages? Any messages? Any messages? Any messages? Any messages? Oof. Okay. Any other messages? So two messages popped out of the deck. So we have winter and we have gratitude, releasing burdens and altar. So we have to make an altar for ourselves. I feel like this altar is supposed to bring in good energy for you. So please consider making an altar. Um, for me, I do already have an altar, but this is to worship the, um, the goddesses and deities that I feel very connected to so maybe consider making one um, and put up items that you represent what you're thankful for okay um, and winter and ending recharging reflection so spirit is asking you to reflect on the lessons that you're feeling right now and to also recharge pour back into your cup figure out what what brings you energy what gives you energy energy givers are the sun it's nature it's music um taking a bath soaking really just pouring into you okay reflect and recharge and this was in gratitude and releasing burdens okay so let's read winter first okay what page is winter on i made my little guidebook because there's not one in here oh that's on page 120 120 one plus two is three so you were supported at this time okay let spirit support you during this time of recharging okay mm -hmm. okay winter and ending recharging and reflection so this is an end of a cycle for you guys okay winter is a quiet time in nature most plant life is suspended animals are hibernating and food becomes scarce Winter tells you that the ending of something is coming or has already happened. Don't l lemon, lament, lament. This is also this also means there is an opportunity for something new and better. In every ending, there is a beginning. The cycle of nature never stops. The winter card encourages rest and reflection on what has to come, what has come to be. Mourn if you need to. Identify the things that went well and what you want to do differently. As you engage in this reflection, remember to look ahead to spring and begin to consider what projects you'd like to focus on next, using the knowledge you've gained from this time of assessment. So guys, this is the end of a chapter for you guys, but I'm also being called to say that the darkest times are behind you, but you have to allow yourself to believe this. Your mind your thoughts what you focus on is what we create in our reality so if you if you focus on i'm always going to be hurt i'm always going to be in a state of not being able to trust people then that's what you're going to attract you will create exactly that so focus on the blessings focus on the people in your life that you do trust that you can actually be like okay i can let my guard down with this person because i know they have my back unconditionally focus on that because if that can exist in your world why can't you have what it whatever it is you're telling yourself you can't have okay more in whatever relationship whatever ending that you needed to end more in the person that you used to be but focus also like once you do that and let that go focus on new beginnings what project are you going to be focusing on this winter okay 
let's see your reflection question what big lessons have you learned after slowing down and allowing your, yourself time to reflect on what has happened what has ended or passed okay so ask yourself that question i'm gonna definitely like reflect on this later too um so the next one is alter what page is that on 40 okay so you guys need to ground your energy i saying ground 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 your energy go outside walk barefoot really connect to mother earth and allow mother gaia to take all of the things that you no longer want just give it to nature give it to god give it to god give it to nature give it to the earth to replenish it okay an altar gratitude releasing burdens card meaning it is important to make time and space for connecting with spirit in that space look into your heart for truths the altar card can help you reflect on your blessings and what you need to express gratitude for conversely look inside for the truth about your challenges there may there may be something you need to release to the universe in order to grow and flourish or a burden you need to surrender so that you can move forward the the altar can help take stock of what you are grateful for think about what you can offer nature or spirit to share your blessings what isn't serving you and can be released into the universe for you to move on that's the question your reflection question what isn't serving you and can be released into the universe for you to move on so for me what can be released is beating myself up that doesn't get me anywhere that gets me nowhere that keeps me stuck that keeps me stagnant and crippled not able to move so I know that that's something I need to give to the universe today so I'm going to write it on a piece of paper in black ink and I'm going to burn it and release it um, think about whatever the first thing comes to your heart center when you connect to spirit and you med meditate what do I need to give back to the universe that's not no longer serving me and be honest guys because through that honesty with ourselves we can heal and truly move forward but if you're not ready to move forward you will be stuck okay so those are the messages that I have for you guys today. Don't forget to feel your feelings. And if you need to... Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm going to need to beep that out. If you need to scream, just do it, baby. Just do it. Um, Take a moment to just scream. I scream in my car. Okay? If I feel like I need to scream, I just scream in my car. And I call it a day. Okay? So scream those feelings out. Punch a pillow if you need to punch a pillow. Um, turn that energy into something creative. So if you feel angry, get up and write poetry. Get up and paint. Get up and draw. Get up and do anything creative. Put that energy somewhere else. Okay? Um, not to say run from your feelings. Don't run from your feelings. Process them hoes. Um, but yes, that's my messages for you guys today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with a friend that needs to learn to feel their feelings. I love you guys and everything is going to be okay. Okay? You are okay. You are safe. You are loved. You are held. 